For black and white film, a red or brown safe light is usually best. Therefore, Kodak put a red window so it wouldn't fog the film as bad if it did happen right here. And what you'll find when you have medium format film in here is that you can see the little numbers and dots over on this side. So I know you want to know what all this is. I usually only shoot Alford uh, Pan 50 in this or Delta 100 is about as fast as I go because I only have a shutter speed of 100. That's the fastest I can go. So I've either got to have some really slow film or I've got to have uh, some, some really, you know, happy high speed film. Uh, but I like to use this and I like to get some real good contrast and some real good uh, sharpness out of it. So I use the slow films in this machine here when I don't have to, you know, have fast moving subjects or things like that. So these numbers right here represent the length of the film on the inside and I'll show you that. When you open it up here the film has to travel all the way from down here in the bottom windy 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 all the way to the top because when you're winding it you wind it away from you like this and that pulls the film up from the bottom but this section right here is a whole lot larger than the six uh, by four and a half centimeter. This is almost six by nine. It's not quite, but it's almost. And so you have to think, well, how do I know when I've got nine centimeters going from here to here? That's why I devised this little method. When you first load your film, you windy, windy, windy and you look at your little window and then when your window says two then you roll four more dots and your first picture so that means that you've got two and four dots worth of film here and it'll say two and four dots right here and then you take your picture boom are you done with that one so you windy 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 some more good and then when you see here in your window, you see five and you pass it up two more dots. You take your picture and you do that for the same eight and then you go one more dot. But when you get to 11, you don't use a dot. When you see 11 in your little window, that's all you go. And then 13.4 and then 16. And that's all you can get. But I have found in this particular camera that a standard 120 roll will not let you go that far because it's too much paper to wind up in here. The paper is actually too thick to wind up all up in here. So you can only get about to the 13.4 mark before you have to go into the bathroom in the darkness or into your changing bag or your oven or whatever other dark place that you use and you have to wind the film because like I said when you're winding up here at the top the paper gets so th come on autofocus alright that's about useless there we go manual focus the paper gets so thick wound up in here like this and it's got all like this and you can't get it out. What you have to do is you actually have to pop this little, uh, this little, whatever this is, winder up and you just pull this out and they still film attached down here. So then what you do is you got to wind it up and wind it up and wind it up and wind it up off of the the uh, dispenser roll but then there's one more problem this particular dispenser roll is a 616 roll and they go for way too expensive on the eBay so don't buy them there find somebody that's got one of these 
Next, what you want to do is you want to unravel this all the way off this roll because you are going to have exactly this much space on both sides. That's about a centimeter of space and your film is going to be sloshing around in there and it's going to get real fogged on the edges. Trust me, I know. So then you're going to want to take your original feed roll from out of the bottom and you're going to wind your film up on that on the original roll that it came on and then you're going to develop it whenever you get to your house or to your bathroom or wherever you so happen to develop and uh, that's about it now I promised you that I was going to show you that you could fit a medium format camera that was a wide format aspect in your pocket well here goes As you can see, let me get you up here close. Oh, out of focus. All right. As you can see, here is the camera, and I will stick my hand in my pocket. I'm going to stick this camera in my pocket all the way. Now, what about that? See that? It's in my pocket. Now it is pulling my pants down because it weighs about three pounds. But if you have a good belt, quite like I don't right now, then you won't have that problem. But you can fit a wide format, yes, wide medium format camera in your pocket should you so choose.